Hey everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of A View from Tracy's Point and we are here with another quick update to the R. Kelly case and you guys know I've told you I'll bring you these little short videos as information comes available and earlier today I posted about Michael Avenatti receiving only a 30 month sentence in the Nike extortion scheme in which he was convicted over a year ago. And then I also did another video about today's hearing with R. Kelly, where the judge denied the motion for emergency release, which Thomas Farinella had filed last week. And then on the Devereux Connick motion asking for a delay in trial she really didn't delay the trial probably enough for his liking but she did push the opening arguments date from august 9th to august 18th so that does give them you know about a little over a week more to prepare for the case and so another story has come out and this is coming from fox news which talks about the shenanigans that took place in the courtroom between the attorneys there was some bickering and back and forth and judge dunley was not happy with the the behavior that was taking place in her courtroom and so i'm going to go ahead and read this to you it says at thursday's hearing ahead of Robert Kelly's looming trial, pre-trial concerns were discussed, namely to address possible conflicts involving his attorneys and the defendant's renewed attempt for release on bail and adjournment of the trial, which is now set for August 18th. Fox News previously confirmed that two of the singer's attorneys requested to withdraw themselves from counsel. Mike Leonard and Steve Greenberg sent a letter to Dunley just days ago claiming that they believe it impossible to continue to properly represent Mr. Kelly under the current circumstances. And I believe that may be the letter that I was telling you all that Mike Leonard had filed in response to Thomas Farinella's motion asking for the emergency release that document was under seal so i wasn't able to open it up and bring it to you and let you know what it says but according to this article they were basically saying i guess they disagreed with the motion and was saying that it has just become unbearable and they cannot stay on the case to advise mr kelly so earlier in the week, uh, Mr. Kelly told the judge in a hearing held by telephone that he wished to terminate the attorneys. His remaining attorneys, Tom Farinella, Douglas Anton. So I keep telling y'all, Doug is still in the mix somewhere. So here we have that um, she spoke to R. Kelly and he said that Thomas Farinella, Douglas Anton, and Nicole Becker, and that he wanted Leonard and Greenberg to be terminated that he had terminated them though the two dispute the claim so the war of words among r kelly's attorneys continued at thursday's hearing and came to a head when a judge admonished the litigators for their behavior in and out of court john judge dunley asked farinella are you seriously asserting what you say on your letter that your counselor actively kept discovery material from Mr. Kelly. The attorney claimed he had specific proof of that statement and that by last March, their client had not seen a single piece of paper. So the disputes have gone so far that Judge Donnelly asked the team to stop with the name calling. I frankly have had enough, she said. Farinella declared to the judge he had not engaged in mudslinging, but then continued with his accusations against Greenberg and Leonard. So Greenberg, who was on 
teleconference, didn't even bother to hop on the plane and fly to New York, but he's so concerned about his client. He appeared via teleconference and said that I don't appreciate my name being dragged through the mud like this, but he didn't elaborate as to what it was he was talking about or how they were dragging his name through the mud. So Donnelly says that she plans to approve the withdrawal request before the trial after a hearing on July 15th. So it looks like the Curcio hearing is going to take place on July 15th when she is going to sort out all this mess that's going on with the attorneys and decide who gets to leave and who gets to stay. And so it appears that she is going to approve Greenberg and Leonard to leave the case, but that will not be official or official until July 15th. So R. Kelly was escorted into the courtroom on Thursday by the U.S. Marshals, and he was wearing a green shirt and dark sweatpants. He was not handcuffed, though he kept his hands behind his back as he walked. Um, he remained calm and silent throughout the proceedings, only speaking once to reply to the judge on the procedural question, and he nodded as his lawyer spoke. He also nodded once as a guest in the audience as he got up to leave, although there were a few supporters in the courtroom, including a woman who shouted as he walked out, We love you, Robert. We love you. The defense had argued for a trial adjournment, complaining that a quarantine after his transfer had impeded him to see their client. The judge was willing to give as much as a two-week delay, but the government presented that one of the named victims in the indictment is due in late August and may not be able to travel to New York. Now, child, who is um, pregnant, y'all? <laughs> Which one of the alleged um, victims is pregnant? Oh, that doggone Geronda Pace. I forgot she about to pop out yet another baby. I think she's up to about five or six at this point. She seems to have one every year. So Geronda um, says that she is due. So I guess we'll have to see how that works out with her um, popping out these babies. And so the article goes on and talks about the charges that he is facing and that Judge Dunley denied the renewed attempt at bail, arguing she still considers him a danger to the community and a flight risk. So that's, um, I think that's about it. You know, wanted to bring you guys this information. And so I just want to reiterate because people like to tell me what other YouTubers and other bloggers have said. I do not repeat what other bloggers have said on their channel. I really don't even watch that many other bloggers, maybe one or two people, uh, you know, peep in on their content basically because I like other stuff that they're talking about, but I don't follow other bloggers for information on R. Kelly. When I bring information to you guys, it is always from the documents that I have downloaded from Pacer and it is from reputable news sources, you know, that are not just going to get up and say whatever without verifying their facts. We might not like how they spin the story, but they are always factual in nature in what they're saying. And so just want to share that with you. So there's no need to come and tell me what another blogger said or anything like that. I am not in a race or competition with any other bloggers. Um, I bring you guys the information when I have it available and when I have time to bring it to you. Some days I have more time than other days, but I just want to clarify that and clear that up with you all. And then one other housekeeping matter, I don't like arguing and bickering and cursing and name calling on my channel. Um, I do have filters on my channel that if you say certain words, then your post is automatically dumped into a whole field. Every now and then I go through those and if it's something innocent that the system just picked up that wasn't harmful or derogatory, I'll go ahead and release that. But if you write nasty stuff, if you're being argumentative, I am going to start deleting those posts. You know, it's okay to disagree and to have respectful dialogue and debate. But when it comes to the name calling, when it comes to repeating stuff that I've repeatedly told you guys, isn't true that I've already verified and fact checked and it's not true. I'm just going to start deleting 
those posts. I, I just can't have the negativity in my life, okay? So I hope we can all get along, be respectful of one another, and have an exchange of ideas without being nasty, derogatory, degrading, calling people stupid, and all those different types of names. So that's it for me. I'm done for the night, okay? I'm not coming back with any more videos tonight. Um, go ahead, leave your comments, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.